I'm getting ready to go on a hunt in just a couple days, folks. The guy I'm hunting with asked me if by chance I could try to make a scabbard or a holster for a Rossi Ranch hand style weapon. I've never tried anything like that before. My Glock holster is the only thing I've made. Here's the kicker. I have no model to go by. Now he sent me some pictures on the internet of some measurements of his weapon. So that's going to help. I really don't care for going buying big sheets of leather. I like just jumping down to Hobby Lobby, spending six bucks, and getting me a big old bag of leather. Folks, you know how many projects I can get out of something like this? Four or five pieces of leather out of this bag, which I've already taken out. And I can make a $150 holster. It's what they go for online. Now in this bag were multiple pieces of the same thickness, same colors, and approximate same sizes. So this is what I've opted to go with. Now using scraps is a challenge, and that's what I enjoy as a challenge. As you can see, I've taken two pieces and just glued them together. I'm going to use this as my backing. I will draw a stitch across this to firm it up. This is going to get folded over. He wants to be able to wear it like a holster. This weapon's about 24 inches long. From the trigger to the barrel, it's about 16 inches. That means that trigger is going to be around in here, and that barrel is going to be way down here. Pretty long scabbard. Not full-size rifle, but good size. Now the backing's easy. Fold over a piece for your belt loop, keep it fairly flat, you're good to go. The front's the hard part, folks. If you saw my Glock holster video, you'll know that I actually wet the leather and I form it to the weapon so I can get a really good fit. Now not having the actual weapon here, I talk to him and ask him, well, what, do, what do we have that I can model this by? I can't get my hands on a weapon. And he told me, a Red Rider BB gun. So what we have here folks is a Red Rider BB gun. I've taken two pieces of leather, butt them together, glued a strip over it, and sewn it in. I've soaked this leather in water and as you can see clamped it and it's almost dried at this point. You see a little bit of moisture here at the seams where it's the thickest. And I'm doing this to get a rough fitting and a rough stretch to get my shape for this weapon. Now what I need to do is wet the top of this and the end because right now it's too long and it's not quite tall enough up here so the sights won't scrape. So I'm going to wet my leather. I'm going to get this hose in here to give me a little bit more room. I'm going to pull that barrel up a bit and I'm going to clamp this all again. Even right now with the clamps off folks and this thing loose if I pinch just a hair, I can't get that weapon out because of my sights. So I need to wet it and get that tube in there to give me a little bit more room and loosen this thing up some. Cut a little groove in the plastic so I can get that sight to fit. Just to try to give me a filler here, folks. I've never tried to do anything like this before. Knife holsters on the Glock, sure, but never this. So this is an experiment. I have confidence though, I mean, I put my mind to something, I can usually get it done. You can see on this end how it changes the angle. I was clamped here before, I had to shift down. So that'll give me a little bit extra room. I pray folks, I pray this is going to work. 